such thing from as from Daniel Skin. Uh, my question is for Malcolm Turnbull. In December 2009, you wrote an opinion piece for the Sydney Morning Herald, um, in which you stated that it wasn't possible to reduce carbon emissions without a cost. Um, and That's if true. I can quote the same article, you also yep, said that, that is, any I, policy. I adhere to that view. Yes. There's, there's, there's um, no such thing as a carbon free free lunch. Exactly. Um, even in the same <laughs> article, you also said that any uh, policy released by the coalition would simply be a con. Um, mm, with the Rudd's harsh. government's plan to move... <laughs> <laughs> with the Rudd, it was a big month for you. Um, with the Rudd government's plan to move to an ETS and the, uh, the coalition's policy being to scrap it, what would your position be? Well, I'm part of the team and <laughs> we have a, we have a, a collective policy, you know, you know how it. politics works, and we have a, a different climate change policy. We have the same target that is to reduce our emissions by 5% from 2000 levels by 2020. Uh, the Liberal Party's policy is to do that with a range of measures, a so-called direct action, but that involves a lot of things, a, you know, by competitive uh, bidding of uh, carbon reduction mechanisms and a whole range of measures. And uh, that, but the big difference between our policy, apart from the fact that it has a much lower cost than obviously the carbon tax at the moment, is that it is it is not designed to go any further than 2020. Okay. So it is not a long term. I'm, I'm going to win it. You, you've, you've actually, con, hang yeah. on for one second. You, you have actually explained this to us on this program before, but the situation has changed now in that mm. uh, uh, the new Kevin Rudd led government may move quickly. Well, it uh, may, to bring, but to, how, well, how they get, can they do that? Well, to bring an emissions trading scheme forward by at least a year, let's say. If that happens, then Tony Abbott won't be <coughs> repealing a carbon tax. He'll be repealing or attempting to repeal an emissions trading scheme. Would you support that? I will support the collective wisdom of the party room. <laughs> so, uh, so you would help campaign for the repeal of an emissions trading scheme? There would be more convincing advocates, but I would certainly... Uh, <laughs> I'll certainly... You know, you've got to look. I, I have a track record there. I mean, I've, I, you know, I've, I've been a very strong advocate of market-based mechanisms. I have to say, however, being very honest, uh, frank about it, that emissions trading schemes to date have worked better in theory than in practice. The overallocation in Europe has really been uh, something of a disaster in terms of the emissions trading scheme there. So, so have you reformed your personal view about emissions no, trading I, schemes? I think a world is, I think if you want to reduce your emissions over the very long term, by which I mean you know, 50 years or something, then you are going to have to have a long-term market-based price on carbon. And that, that may well be, where I hope that, I imagine that is where the world will get to, I might be wrong. To date, emissions trading schemes, as I say, have worked better in theory than in practice. Uh, but the coalition's policy is to use direct action measures to get to that 5% cut by 2020. And I think they can, it, the policy will work up to that point to have a review in 2015 consider what is happening elsewhere in the world and plan our post-2020 policy there. So, you know, the, it, it, it is a much more short-term, if you might think, a much more uh, cautious approach than the one okay. uh, that, right. that was previously the Liberal Party's policy. Okay, now Bill, Bill Lake actually tapped now. my foot under the...